Our summer league teams hitting the middle point of the season, which means it's time for a couple of all-star games. We'll get into that. Plus, our Phil Bonatti sits down with UMary Athletic Director Dale Lennett for a special interview on what we can expect college sports to look like this upcoming year. But we start out on the baseball diamond. The Bismarck Larks wrapped up a two-game series against the Wilmer Stingers tonight. Now they head into the all-star break before returning to the field on Thursday. But four Larks have been selected to play in the all-star game in Mankato. Here's a look at those players, starting with outfielder Jackson Rosencrantz, leading the Larks in home runs and stolen bases this season, as well as on-base percentage and slugging percentage. So making a lot of noise at the plate, but doing even better in the field. Yeah, I'm super excited to meet a bunch of different guys and hang out and get to know them, where they come from. And I mean, I've never, I haven't been to Mankato yet this summer, so that'll be fun. And just really excited, really honored to about play for the All Star game. Well, the other position player getting the call for the All Star game is Cam Wilman, the shortstop from Kansas State, leads the Larks in batting average right now. Just a Pretty consistent hitter at the plate and a guy you can always rely on in the field. Talking about a guy you can rely on, how about Seth Brewer, a former Bismarck State College guy. He leads the team in innings pitch with 31.2, just a 2.56 ERA on the mound. Here's what he had to say about the opportunity to play in Mankato. Uh, it's pure excitement, you know. Um, it's something that you kind of work for, you know. Going through spring ball and growing up and stuff, and so it's pretty cool to you know be able to go and do this and represent the Bismarck Larks. And last but not least, Ryan Barasa, another former BSC guy, now at South Dakota State, only played the first half of the season with the Larks, but showed out on the mound. Still leads the team in strikeouts, so a pretty cool stat there. As excited as these guys are for the All Star Game, they're also looking forward to the second half of the season. Both players I talked to are in their second year with the Larks and had nothing but good things to say about their time in Bismarck, and they're looking forward to having more opportunities to improve their game in the coming weeks. Just keep it on, keep working on little things, you know. I mean, it gets tiring coming out here every day, but I mean, you just got to enjoy it, you know, you got to love every minute of it and not let one bad day ruin your whole summer, you know, you're going to get another chance the next day. So just keeping that mindset and looking forward to the next day. After the All-Star break, I just got to keep doing what I've been doing. I just got to focus, you know, go out there every game and just, you know, stick to my game plan and, you know, just do what I got to do to improve and, you know, advance that into school ball this fall. So let's take a look at where the Larks sit heading into the break. Ten and a half games out of first place at one game above 500. The St. Cloud Rocks pacing the Great Plains Division up there with a 34-12 and record on the season. So the Larks with a little work to do in the second half of the summer. Well, the Northwoods League isn't the only one headed into the All-Star break. The Expedition League also goes into its All-Star break starting tomorrow. That includes both the Sewers Valley Sabre Dogs and the Badlands Big Sticks. Both teams playing really good baseball right now. The Big Sticks won tonight on a walk-off, while the Sabre Dogs offense put together a big ninth inning for a win going into the three-day break. So let's take a look at how both teams have positioned themselves for the postseason. Yeah, we're already talking about the postseason in the middle of the summer, and it wouldn't be a surprise to see the two North Dakota teams battling for the division. The Sabre Dogs sitting at the top with a 33-15 and record, just seven games ahead of the Big Sticks. Those teams will be the ones to watch down the stretch. Well, we aren't done talking baseball or Expedition League just yet. After the break, Caressa Stenchcom talks to the Sabre Dogs players who are on their way to represent the Sabre Dogs at the All Star game this week for the Expedition League.